hello guys welcome to my new changing impact video guys in this video we are gonna talk about not only talk about we're gonna test my favorite pole arm in the game miss wins pair this weapon is the event exclusive weapon so if you don't own this weapon you're never gonna own this weapon in the future because this is this is one of the event exclusive weapon and this weapon came with a event called wind bloom or something like that and that event is gone so there's no other way that you can claim this weapon if you already already have this weapon you are very lucky and use that weapon but if you don't own this weapon it's gone and this weapon is not coming back in the future i just love this weapon guys i just love this weapon uh, why i love this weapon First of all, it's a four shot weapon and it's a free weapon. I'll, uh, we all get this weapon in a event. We already have this weapon to the R5. This weapon is freakingly good. Why this weapon is freakingly good? This weapon gives you a tons of tons of attack. This weapon gives you a loss of attack. Having base attack of 510, giving 41% attack in substrat, then giving 24% attack in the passive ability. Beside giving all this amount of attack this weapon is also giving you 96 elemental mastery That's a huge elemental mastery if you compare this elemental mastery to other free weapons like this Kaiden cross pair and Moon Pierce so th these two weapons are also free weapons and forgeable in the game You can forge these two weapons These weapons having a 110 uh, elemental mastery But this, this weapon's having a 110 elemental mastery beside that this weapon is not giving you a that much amount of attack but this weapon is giving you a tons amount of attack with this amount of attack is to get this weapons giving you 96 elemental mastery we all know guys after the dendro element came into the game the elemental mastery is, is becoming the highest uh, you know focus thing in the game the meta is to totally changed the play style of the characters to really change Everyone is now more focused on elemental mastery and energy recharge and attack percentage Compared to any other things so having a high attack percentage with the uh, hundred around hundred elemental mastery with the weapon It's just freakingly good and we already have a uh, lots of lots of pole arm characters in the game that we can use uh, actually use this weapon on those characters like I have tested this weapon on many characters characters including uh, characters including Sino, Raiden Shogun, uh, Shao, De uh, and Hu Tao these all are the pyro DPS characters uh, sorry these all are the uh, DPS characters and these all characters uses polam as a weapon and this weapon is freakingly good on all of these characters like Shao, uh, Raiden Shogun, Hu Tao and Sino. This weapon is freakingly good on all these characters and I don't know if the future characters and I haven't tested this weapon on Thoma but many uses Thoma for Vaporize, for Bur Burgeon Reaction and who knows that weapon is uh, also good on Thoma. So I'm gonna test this weapon on uh, each possible character that we can use this weapon on that character and with the proper team with the proper build i'm going to use this freakingly good weapon it's a, ma a massive win spare and let's see how that character will perform okay i'm currently using star homo on my show so let's see uh, with the staff of homo i'm having like 20,090 attack here uh, if i switch to this uh let's see wait one minute just create a, a proper first of all get trigger team for shaw here uh what do we use we use uh, we use bennett where's bennett um okay we are not gonna use bennett in any of the team or any type of buff let's see the raw damage of the character of the weapon if that possible no we'll use the proper team let's go we'll, we'll use the proper team okay we use this here we're gonna use for Uzan here then we're gonna use uh, uh, Shangling here uh, before adding Shangling let's see the attack percentages so uh, let's just heal my Shao so we're not we are just using too much ability of that weapon that is not worth
okay so okay uh now i'm getting like two to two to six one attack here okay with this staff homa let's switch to the missive wins when i see the attack differences so i'm having almost same uh a little higher attack percentages here all uh, uh and the major drop is the crit damage because this uh staff homa having the crit damage with this woman is not okay we'll get more attack after the elemental reaction is triggered we get more attack and the elemental mastery elemental mastery is not going to be that important in the case of shao but yes 24 getting the extra 24 percent attack is going to be very important so let's see how my shots perform and let's now let's add shangling and uh same will do with every character so i'm every, not every time i'm going to show you the team but yeah same will do with every character where we use a proper team and proper artifacts let's go Let's quickly select uh, red in here. I'm gonna need uh, some one electro character. So that's going to be going to be going to be a uh, uh, cookie cookie. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's fast. We're gonna add a hydro character here. We're gonna add a dendro character here. Okay, I'm gonna use a uh, missive wind spell here. Okay, my build is like this uh, 50, uh, 1, 993, 209, with 93 elemental mastery, 250. I'm gonna get from the uh, uh, Nahida's elemental burst, so that's equals to around something around 350. Uh, 96, I'm gonna get from the uh, this weapon, so this around around uh, 450, around something 440, around something 440. Okay, 440 elemental mastery with 200 energy recharge and a lots of lots of attack here, almost 2000 attack here and we're gonna get more attacks so let's go So we have 190 elemental mastery to 183 attack here with the all passive and everything is triggered that's nice that's nice how are you doing So I just hit 87,000. Like I just hit 87,000 with this missive wind spear. I just hit 87,000 with this weapon. 87,000 is just insane, in my opinion. Uh, without Mona's burst, I hit around 50,000. I guess without Mona's burst and with Mona burst, like after the after deploying the Mona burst, 
I hit 87,000. I think that's that's insane with this weapon. It's a it's a free F2P four shot weapon, like free weapon, literally a free weapon. And you will hitting 87,000 in one charge attack with a free weapon on Huta. It's literally insane because we all know how Huta is not a very F2P friendly character. Uh, so I hit 87,000 with Mona's burst, and without Mona's burst, I hit 50,000. That's that's clearly insane. Okay, that's my Sino, uh, 249 Elemental Mastery. Daddy, I'm a... Oh, my watch. Okay. Okay, that's my Sino, uh, 205 Elemental... Okay, that's my Sino 200 elemental mastery here. We're having 58 critter, 179 crit damage, and have I'm using Thundering Fury. Uh, this is not my ideal build. I my ideal build is uh, this. This is my ideal build. I use Staff of the Scarlet Sand with the 249 elemental mastery, 71 to 21 here, and with four piece Thundering Fury. But I'm using uh a non crit weapon here so i need to switch some artifacts so i'm going for the another boss best possible helmet that i own so now this is the this is the ratio i have 20 200 elemental mastery uh don't worry about the elemental mastery because we're going to, be going to get 96 elemental mastery from here so if probably the more uh, compared to the uh, comparatively more elemental mastery that i get with the staff of the silent Sand, but it, definitely i get more uh, uh attack with the staff of skeleton but let's see if this weapon is gonna be that good or not uh, i'm having little low uh critter compared to that weapon also and the crit damage is uh, also very low uh, let's see what's gonna happen Hey right, guys, that's it for the video and this is all I wanted to show you about this weapon. I just love this weapon. This weapon gives you a lots of lots of attack, attack percentage and attack percentage is very very important if you're building your deepest character or sub deepest character. 
beside the fact that character is based on energy hp or any other things attack is attack and attack percentage matters also this weapon gives you 96 elemental master which is also good because jenshin is a reaction based game and maximum character in the jenshin gives reaction related damage so you can give this weapon freely to any character like uh, Hu Tao, uh, Sino, Shao, Raiden Shogun, Shang Ling, Toma, Yao Yao. There are many characters in the game that you can give this weapon. This weapon is insanely good. And this is all my thoughts about this weapon. So guys, if you like this video, you can hit the like button and share this video with your friends. And if you think I said something wrong in this video, uh, you can correct me in the, in the comment section. Guys, we'll meet in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care and guys don't forget to subscribe more videos are coming we'll meet in the next video till then bye bye take care